characters. And especially Danby, his movement and evasiveness, his defensive play is really, really solid. So I'd expect Danby is going to be able to play around the Chakram and the Tornado very well using immediately, using the egg to cancel that upthrown Chakram, get in and get damage. And getting the grab as well, which is seldom used by Yoshi because normally the throw follow-ups don't net you a whole lot. Immediately we're still seeing, oh my god, that could have been a terrifying trade. I would have absolutely loved to take that if I'm Taylor Halo there. But Danby managing to make it back to the stage. 97% lead. Playing slow and steady. Looking insanely good. It looks like a slightly different... Yeah, slightly different me setup. This time he does have the reflect as opposed to the weird joust move that he was using earlier. Tail Hill maybe recognizing that this is uh, definitely more important to deal with these eggs. Ooh, that back air, the Swiss army knife of moves for Yoshi doing everything you ever needed to. Combo starter, combo finisher, kill move, not quite connecting the kill on Taylor Halo as he lands it again. But that's an air dodge doesn't quite drift hard enough. Taylor Halo's DI has been very nice this set so far. Moving to 170. But eventually the Nair's gonna do it. Trading with the tornado. Danby taking that first stock, but slow and steady. That's uh that's the thing about Danby, he doesn't tend to rush it. Oh, up tilt. Big opportunity for Danby, and I love again. Doesn't try to overextend, just decides, I'm gonna take the damage I can get and then take good position up there into the neutral air to send Taylor Hill off stage. Ooh, weak up air into strong up there from Taylor Halo, and there's no way that Danby was realistically escaping that one. I think that was just guaranteed, no way to double jump armor away from that. And even if you did have double jump armor, I think the second hit's strong enough that he would have just stayed in place. Maybe we'd have had to deal with landing against him again anyway. Double parry? Oh, Taylor Halo looking suave right now. Gonna see. Yeah, just staying low to the ground so that even if Danby does jump away, we've got an opportunity to maybe catch the landing. It is difficult to catch the Yoshi landing because of that movement. A big aerial drift that he has access to. Taylor Halo slowed this down and definitely doing a solid job of picking things back up. Danby was looking pretty dominant. Not, uh, you know, blazing through the, the match, but looking very, very solidly positioned. Taylor Halo, I think, finding his footing. Danby hugging that platform the way that he loves to, staying away from this pressure of the Chakrams and that tornado. Look, see, this is what we see out of Dammy that we weren't seeing out of Zave. Is he blocks the tornado and instead of just immediately rushing in, decided to back up and assess the situation. And follow up here. I, uh, the patience is, is actually extremely admirable. In these players is particularly looking to make something happen. Are waiting for a, for an opportunity, going for really safe pokes. Solid recognition from Taylor Halo again that Danby would just be able to double jump away if he tried to go for that up air. So just let him double jump and then try to catch the landing afterwards. And it definitely paid off. Taylor Halo catching Danby stuck on the platform, was able to seal that stock. Now committing to the getup attack though, Danby waiting to pull the trigger on the forward air, coming out on top. Mm, not going to be able getting a big combo off of that. Beautiful frame trap after the dash attack. And then again, backing up, realizing he does not have to get anywhere near Taylor Hill to make things starting. Hug the edge of that platform the way that Danby loves to. Running into a few chakrams though and rolling in gives Taylor Hill an opportunity. Taylor Hill with slight lead now. I don't ex anticipate that this game will go to time. But these players are definitely taking their time with it. Two and a half minutes left. That's not going to kill just yet. Oh, my God. Yeah, solid DI from Taylor Halo. He's had solid DI all night. Didn't anticipate that being the blow to do it. God, Danby. Oh, Danby, no! 
What an opportunistic, <laughs> an opportunistic blow from Taylor Halo. Recognizing Dambi had gone out, used the double jump to make it back. Got the double jump armor, sniped out by the back air strong enough because the armor is reductive. You're able to remove that extra distance that he's able to go up. So he basically just froze in place, had no way to make it all the way back to the stage because in one moment, despite playing four and a half minutes of that game, extraordinarily patiently. In that one moment, Danby cracked and decided he had to make something happen despite having such a solid lead. Taylor Hill, huge opportunity taken advantage of. Now he's up one over Danby. Danby won rarely to drop sets, uh, or even games, I think, in an upset fashion. If Danby ever loses a game or a set, I anticipated somebody that you said, yeah, that's, that's believable, I expect that. You know, they're also on the PR, this, that, or the other. Tail of Halo, though, looking insanely good. I will say, it was very come from behind, and now we're seeing a little bit of why Tail of Halo had to come from behind in that last game, because Danby is again playing so well around the ranges that Tail of Halo wants to be at. Both of these players very content to sit in their comfort zone. Tail of Halo being below and behind the platform, Danby being above and on the edge of the platform to react these situations he's able to get his egg toss out in time to punish that tornado that yeah not going to be a punish it's something that looks looks like a move if you don't have the knowledge that you could run up and punish that might have a lot of end lag but that's why taylor throws it out in these situations is because you'd expect that i should be able to reach there right but absolutely not very low lag and it looks like not a lot of startup either it was going to be able to bite uh, taylor hello an opportunity out of that situation Danby put on a lot of damage really quickly, but because of the positioning that Taylor Hill is putting themselves at, it's very difficult for Danby to find anything other than strays, realistically. Really difficult to find those setups, but just the stray back air, being as strong of a move as it is, does find an opportunity to set up into the up air. Danby has the first stock, but even on DI out, again, that down throw up air is so strong. Maybe it's it's just rage that makes it a little bit more difficult to connect, but it looks like at, at 0% is Taylor Halo. Even if your opponent's at 150 at the very edge DIing out, you're still gonna get that up air. That looks amazing. Taylor Halo back on setting up that projectile pressure, catches the jump from Danby, has to retreat to the ledge. Ah, but a little bit too overzealous, tossing the double tornado, maybe anticipating Danby to be a little bit slow from the ledge. Gonna have to air dodge to grab it, yep. But Taylor Hill not recognizing the lack of resources fast enough to toss out the tornado and take advantage. Beautiful wait from Taylor Halo. Going for the down tilt and instead of going for the big follow up again, recognizing that Danby is able to double jump out of a lot of it. Just waits for the landing. Taylor Halo's got Danby again, sitting in center to the point where he's just feeling the need to press forward a lot more than I anticipate. What a big swing in the down smash. Taylor Halo is <laughs> just so good at making his opponents want to crack and go at him. Danby's kind of abandoned his position on the corner of the platform where he has been safe and been strong and holding forward to try to get into Taylor Hill's zone. Okay, slowing it down a second, but you know that he's, he's looking for that back air. He's kind of telegraphed what he's searching for. Taylor Halo, able to sit in the shield, does mix it up a little bit, finally get that command grab. It feels, Danby's just playing so antsy. What's happening? Danby is not normally one that I associate with nerves but I'm kind of seeing it in the gameplay. Maybe this is me projecting because I'm watching and I'm getting nervous just watching Taylor Halo. But it feels like Danby has had a solid strat before of hugging that corner platform so that he could react to these projectiles, get in. And it's just kind of gone by the wayside for Danby to find a new opportunity to press forward. And Taylor Halo has taken huge advantage of that, catching Danby's jumps on the way in. Danby taking it down to last stock. Anything's possible on the last stock. But Taylor Hill is looking incredibly solid. Don't let the uh, 
the numbers fool you. That's the second game for Taylor Halo. That's 2-0. This is winner's semi, so this should be best of five. So we do still have another game to play, but that's two games in Taylor Halo's favor. I'm, we're seeing the Pikachu now. Pikachu is definitely a solid pick here. Uh, if you are one who's feeling like holding in, as Danby is in this moment, because you can take one hit so far, you can definitely abuse Me Sword Fighter's recovery as Pikachu, I'll tell you that much. Danby immediately looking for an opportunity to do so. This back air tries to cover the up air follow up, but doesn't quite find the chain that he needs in Halo Halo. Again, using a quick startup, what it looks like, of that up special. And he's able to get out of these combo, out of the, out of these negative situations at the ledge really well. <clears throat> Got Danby doing a good job of using these Thunder Jolts, not just to run behind them as Pikachu's typically would. Taylor Hill has got that locked down with the, with the reflector. But tossing it out and then jumping in as the follow-up. Kind of putting Taylor Hill in awkward spots. Tries to catch a spot dodge there, but Taylor Hill doesn't give it. Going blow for blow. As Pikachu, though, you really don't want to be going blow for blow. You really need to be ahead. Okay, that looked like insane. It looks like there's there's levels to this DI out from that down throw. Because when they DI hard out, they fly extremely far away. But that, that, that tornado definitely holding in because you were trying to side B to that ledge. Got scooped up and Taylor Hill took big advantage, taking the first stock in this third game. Maybe looking to 3-0 Danby. Look at solid. Raise the up the out of the corner. That's an opportunity for Danby, but no rage means up smash isn't gonna kill. A little bit of a stall on the recovery, and he's Taylor is keeping Danby on his toes. Okay, a lot of jabs on the shield, but eventually Taylor Hill just gets the down tilt. You realize that the jab doesn't reach extremely far. A lot of patience on the recovery. Don't mind that you got Nick, because you know you got your invincibility back on the recovery, but dash attack eventually. That's going to take that stock. Up tilt, no big follow-up. But still keeping Danby at the ledge. That's going to be an up air. That's a clean stock lead for Taylor Halo, who's playing insanely strong. And again, I can't help but wonder if Danby is maybe just feeling feeling some type of way, the way that he wants to hold in and get aggressive. This is definitely still possible. Pikachu's an insane character. Danby's an insane player. Uh, and especially the way that he's feeling aggressive right now could take huge opportunities if he's able to push Taylor Halo off stage. It looks like he's pushing Taylor Halo to the corner, but great dash dance just out of range of Danby. Slide back in and get some damage. Taylor Halo's just looking like the defense is too strong. And we do, we finally find a punish on that up special from the corner. But beautiful turnaround on the reflect, able to stop the assault of the Thunder Jolts. Taylor Halo, again, not pressing too far forward without some kind of coverage of Chakram Tornado or even the opponent's projectile reflected back. He's really got to find something here. The percents are starting to climb. I, I'm terrified that a raw up air, maybe just on a jump call out, will do it from this position. And the Thunder Jolt does get you caught by the tornado. This is an opportunity, and he takes it. Taylor Halo catching the extended hurt box of the Thunder Jolt with that tornado. And uh, he does not miss those. I said it before earlier. I'm going to say it again. Halo Halo is a hit confirmed champion. Does not miss those. Taking it 3 0 over Danby. That's insane. Halo Halo's looking poised. 